Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're gonna see how ChatGPT can start writing automation testing code like page object model code of Selenium in much, much easier fashion. I guess we already have this feature from the day the ChatGPT has launched it or maybe ChatGPT has learned it all these days. Well, I'm gonna show you how that I could able to save so much of my time while writing the page object model code instead of me doing a record and playback with other tools. Because even though you do a record and playback with tools like Playwright or Selenium, you could see that it is gonna just generate a code, but it won't generate you like a page object model code. But using ChatGPT, you could able to generate a page object model code as well. And you can readily use that for your coding really and i'll show you how that can be done well if you can see this particular application over here this application is built using asp.net and if i try running this particular application you will see that it is going to launch you a very very super simple ui something like this you can go to this particular product tab and then you can click this create and you can see that this particular ui comes in so let's say if i want to generate a page object model for this particular ui using selenium if i wanted to really do that what i will use to do it in selenium world is that i just go to this particular page and then right click and then i just go to the inspect to verify what is this particular uh, per control is and then i will see the id or css and then i go and select it for the link, the table, as well as performing the edit and stuff. And then if I go to the create, then I do the exact same thing for these controls as well. That's what I used to do uh, most of the time, right? You can use some other tools like Selector Hub or something like that to do a selection of this particular controls uh, locator. Uh, but again, you can see that these are some of the manual stuff we end up doing it. But instead of us doing all these operation, I'm gonna let ChatGPT to do that. If you know, you can directly give this particular URL, which is hosted in the public domain. You cannot give a page and then you can ask ChatGPT to do anything like that. I mean, if you try doing it, ChatGPT will tell you that ChatGPT don't have access to any site to perform any operation. So instead of me actually uh, giving the site URL itself, so all I'm gonna do is just for the simplicity purpose, I'm gonna open the Chrome browser. Uh, and within this Chrome browser, let's say if I go to this particular page and then I can right click and then I'm gonna click this view page source and I'm gonna copy this whole source and I'm gonna go to ChatGPT over here and then I'm gonna ask ChatGPT that, hey ChatGPT, can you write a page object model in Selenium with uh, C Sharp uh, for the page source and then I'm gonna paste the full page source over here. And I'm also gonna tell one more command. Also try writing a test to invoke these page objects, uh, object methods to perform the operation in the UI. So I have given the full command over here and instantly ChatGPT has started generating the code for us as you can see over here, which is crazy. But as you can see, it is doing a lot more things over here. You see that it has written a very well written code. At least it has used page factory in Selenium C Sharp, which is kind of obsolete, but still it is doing it. As you can see, it is passing the iWeb driver because that is what we'll do in our test method. And then it's also doing like uh, it is gonna do a find element using its name uh, and then ID as description uh, and ID as price and product type. Uh, and also you can see that it's gonna do a create and then it is also filling up the form and then it is performing a get title and then it's also doing a error message if it has any uh, exception we have in this particular page it is going to the validation of the page uh, and then it is seeing the particular source and then it is also creating those method for us over here see it's verifying all the validation of the error messages as well and once it is done it's giving us a lot of detail like what is this particular page is doing and not only that it is also trying to write a method but it has somehow stopped there i mean because it is a big uh, question that we have asked in the free version we actually have got a limited uh, response sometimes it just breaks but if you just upgrade to plus then you will see all these responses coming up pretty quickly well you can see that even this time the particular generation has been broken i think it's all because of the free version that we have got with the chat gpt i gotta probably upgrade to plus so that i don't have these kind of problem which i'm going to do it and i'm going to show you another video as well but as you can see this is already doing it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this i'm going to say uh try changing the uh 
parameters of create product method uh, into a type rather a uh, lot of parameters because there are so many parameters that it have it has passed there and i wanted to, it to be changed so that it could be like a product type and you can see that instantly it is creating those things for me as well see it has created a product type and then it is uh, creating the my page and then it is passing the product type in the create uh, product itself and then it is performing the operation but uh, there is again one more caveat here like it is trying to write the find element inside that method uh, can you please remove uh, the uh, page uh, of, I mean page element identification out of uh, create product method and if I tell this probably it is gonna do that as well so it's gonna remove them all outside and then it is trying to do it I mean it is trying to write the page of the model so quickly I mean the whole idea of this type of video is to tell you that it is not only just trying to write the test for us but it is also generating the page object model code for a given source which is quite awesome and this is something which I think is going to be a game changer because now that we don't really have to babysit and perform all those operations. We can just copy paste that source and with a plus version, if you upgrade it, we can pass in a lot of parameters as well. And we could able to probably write the page object model code in Selenium as well as with Playwright in much, much easier fashion. This is another fearful thing that we could able to do with ChatGPT and we could able to reduce our workload a lot in our automation, but I, I guess still, we have a lot of problems with this kind of tools in market.